Welcome to the second part of instructions for the PIT online college application for academic year 2022-23. For the incoming freshmen, transferees, second courser, shifter, and returnees, thank you for choosing PIT. The online admission process has three phases. First is the online application. Second is the online admission test, and the third is the online interview. After submitting all the requirements, your application status is pending. Requirements still need to be assessed if they are correct or valid. Once verified, that means your requirements are already complete and valid, then you will receive a schedule of your online admission test. Some instructions will be sent through email. The submission of requirements is under the Phase 1, which is the online application. Now we will now proceed to the Phase 2, which is the online admission test. First, applicants can take exam online from their homes or even in remote areas. Second, a webcam is used to authenticate the applicant's identity. And the third one, there is a proctor that would observe online while the applicant is completing the exam. In taking the online admission test, a link shall be given to each applicant to access the online test. The test will approximately last for one hour and each part has time limit. What devices are required in taking the online admission test? First, we need a device in taking the test and for the live video streaming. Thus, we recommend that an applicant would use a laptop or a personal computer. Second, which is the other requirement, is the mirror. The mirror is, will be used for monitoring activities since the online admission test is also an online proctoring system, so we need a video conferencing platform. So, we would also need a strong connection and a better battery while you take the exam. Another important guideline that an applicant needs to observe is a dress code. Polo or t-shirt for boys on dress or blouse or t-shirt for us. There are some guidelines in test preparations. First, secure a place free from distractions or a wall behind so that nobody will be passing behind you. You join the video conferencing platform an hour before the test for setting up and checking. So we need to set you up while, before taking the test. Latecomers will not be allowed to take the test. During the test, applicants will not be allowed to leave the seat once the test has started. Attend to your personal needs before taking the test. Eating and drinking are not allowed during the test. At the start of the test, each applicant should present a valid ID. If you don't have the valid ID, you can present what you have submitted in the online application, such as the passport, the police clearance, and the like. Listen to the proctor's instructions. Don't do anything without the instructions, please. Then accomplish the online test agreement form. During the test proper, videos and microphones should be turned on at all times. Wait for the test link that will be given to you so that you can access the online test. Do not open the test link until you are told to do so. Wait for the instruction. Also, during the test proper, refrain from covering the face at all times. Avoid looking down or away excessively from the computer screen. Avoid typing on the keyboard during the test. Refrain from switching to other windows to prevent incurring behavior. 
You use the chat box in case you have some technical issues, but questions regarding the test will not be entertained. Once you're done, you can type the word done in the chat box. Click the link posted in the chat box to accomplish the attendance and evaluation. Listen to the instructions of the proctor before leaving the video conference. A very important guideline is the code of conduct. Applicants are expected to observe honesty. Cheating in any form, such as taking pictures or screenshots, using calculators or any reference materials, or searching in the internet for answers are prohibited. Also, no other person is allowed to stay near the applicant. Any violation in this regard will disqualify the admission. The third phase is the online interview. Once the exam results are available, it will be matched with the grade requirements. Here, the applicant would know which program he or she is qualified. And then the applicants will choose what qualified program he or she would like to be interviewed. Wait for the department to communicate with you using the contact details you have given for your schedule on the online interview. Here are some tips that you need to prepare and observe during the online interview. Be available before the scheduled online interview. Find a place free from the interruptions during the interview. Present the original documents of the submitted requirements at the start of the interview. Observe proper dress code. Be polite, courteous, and respectful. Listen attentively to the instructions of the interviewer. While waiting for the results, be patient and be in positive perspective. Check online application from time to time and keep posted in our FB page, the Palumpon Institute of Technology Guidance Office. If results are already released, if you are qualified, keep updated with the instructions of the department. If you are not qualified, you may um, choose another program that you are qualified or as for the assistance of the guidance personnel. If you are a waitlist, it is either you will uh, waive your application or you have to look for another program that you have you are qualified. Thank you and God bless.